It's time for the nightcap here at TST. Team Dempsey versus Sneaky Fox from Cary, North Carolina. This first day has provided a lot of highlights already. What do we have in store for this one? This 7v7 tournament, which features two 20-minute halves, no offsides or throw-ins. Every game ends in the target score time, which means after the second 20-minute half, you go to a target score time and you take plus one of whichever team is in the lead. So with that said, let's take a look at our starting lineups. Brought to you by Ufos. And which names stand out to you? It's got to be Chris Wondolowski. <laughs> There's a reason why he is the all-time leading goal scorer in Major League Soccer. Three goals to his name already in the soccer tournament. And for Sneaky Fox, I'm going to that backline tandem of Brad Evans and Chris Wingert. MLS Cup winners, experienced veterans, they will have the command of their team tonight. There is Wondolowski. As we are underway. You can always adapt to pickup style. And the first shot of the game is stopped nicely by Ramondo. It's a sent far post. I got a volley and a header and a save. Robles able to recover in time. I guess the eyesight is okay. He passes his first eye exam on this opportunity. Nick Pereira, such a good hold-up play from him. He's leaning back and... Luis Robles have seen that time and time again. Here's Evans. Evans will take a shot, and it'll be a sliding save there by Robles. Look at this. The sliding shot and a save by Robles. And right on Wando's cue, saying they're going to sit in a bit more, force turnovers, and then hit him on the counter. And this is what happens when the keeper gets involved. Look at that heel pass and the shot goes wide. Jermaine Jones had a great look at it. The cutback, a shot that's blocked, and that will end the first half. A scoreless first half between Team Dempsey and Sneaky Fox. Not executing at the right times. These are two teams when the expect... There's the header almost there, but it's over the crossbar by Ian Bennett. He's going to run He's going to be very unselfish. He will be the setup guy more than the goal scorer. Here's one with a heel pass, and it's in. Quincy Morikawa, what a goal. Did I say the setup guy? <laughs> he must have heard me. Commentator's curse. What a heck of a finish from Quincy. He has a flair and a knack for some ridiculous goals throughout his career. And you can add this one to the list. When this ball gets zipped in, you think it's behind him, but just reinvents himself. And the innovation there. <laughs> Love the celebration. He's one of the great showmans in Major League Soccer. Robinson able to keep it in. Robinson gets it back with the left. His shot goes wide. Jones has it blocked. Nice job on the wall to run out after it. And now a player goes flying. Watch out. Table goes down. You hope everyone's okay. Starting to get a little bit chippy since that goal went in. And Jermaine Jones going for power. And that's never a 50 50 matchup with a player of his caliber. Just a little slight nudge in the back, yeah. trying to sell it from the referee. With the left, that's deflected up and into the hands of Robles. Sneaky Fox, wide open, a shot, Robles able to kick it away. A missed opportunity right there. The other way, here is Wondolowski, his shot goes wide. Tried to rip it with the left and bend it in. Wando not typically known for being a dribbler in the box because he can shoot with either foot. Such an accurate shooter. He sizes up his defender. He's waiting for that window of opportunity, always waiting to aim for the far post and can't get enough bend on it to bend in. And it's a kick here for Team Dempsey, and the header almost goes down. That's a good save from Chris Toth. 
Here's Pereira. Stepping through. Pereira has a chance. Puts it in. 2 nothing. Sneaky Fox. Nick Pereira missed the first chance. Doesn't miss his second chance. There's a reason why Nick Pereira is the reigning MASL MVP. It's moments like this for a big player. He's lethal in tight spaces. This is the benefit of playing indoor soccer. You're going to have defenders come. He says, I'll take it by myself. Swallowing left and right, gets it on his favored right foot. And as soon as he sees Robles coming off his line, there's only one thing he has in the back of his mind, which is dink it over him. That is a class, class goal. Can they get a shot off? No. And that will do it for the first 40 minutes. Two nothing. That is the lead for Sneaky Fox with a target score time coming up. All right, so here are the rules. The target score, the leading team score plus one, hence it being three. First to the target score wins. And for every five minutes we play without the target score being reached, we remove a player. Working tirelessly on both sides of the ball. Alvarez. And too difficult of an angle to put it in. This is so close from Arturo Alvarez. He takes the right touch to round Chris Toth. But when you see this come in, look at how he has to set his feet. Those extra steps there, slipping of his feet, that's what causes him to miss that. Can't set his feet right. Going diving into the trash can. Jermaine Jones and that's going to be a yellow card a yellow card here against Quincy Amarakawa who had the first goal of the game <laughs> let's take a look and he definitely nudges him a bit and I think Jermaine Jones may have sold that a bit more <laughs> here's Pereira stepping it through and there it is the game winner put home by Joey Calistri off the pass from Pereira You have to give credit to Sneaky Fox. They managed this game to a plum. As soon as they got that first goal, things started opening up for them. Nick Pereira at the heart of all things good in attack for them. This is a monster win and a statement win in this tournament. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.